If you're a small business owner, designer, or product seller, you've probably heard of Placeit. But if you haven't, trust me, you're gonna wanna get familiar with it because it can give you a huge jump start to serving all of your digital design needs. There's literally so much that you can do on Placeit from product design to logos to social media graphics to mock-ups to videos. The options are endless. So today I'm gonna be doing a full Placeit tutorial and step-by-step -step review so that you can know what the different features are and if it might be something that could benefit you in growing your small business. I also have an awesome freebie for you that I'm gonna tell you about in just a minute, so keep on watching. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So glad you're here. If we haven't met yet, I'm Kate. I'm a wife, mama to three awesome kiddos, Etsy seller and business coach, and I'm here to help you start and scale your own business so that you can make a full-time income doing what you love. On this channel, I talk about all things small business, entrepreneurship, design, Etsy selling, you name it. So if any of that interests you, you're in the right place. Like I said, today's video is all about placeit.net and we're gonna get into exactly what you can do on Placeit. But real quick, I wanted to let you know about a free gift that I'm offering you. The link is in the description box below, but it's a free digital product starter guide in case you are a handmade seller that's wanting to start creating and selling digital products. This is a whole workbook and guide that you can can download for free to give you the basics of what you need to know to get started with your digital downloads business. It's packed with valuable information, things that'll help you reduce your tech stress and overwhelm and really understand the difference between file types and what resolution is, and even talking about the different design products and tools that are out there that you can choose from to help you get started. If you wanna grab that, the link is in the description box below. It's totally free to you, and it would be a great jump start to your digital product business. Okay, so let's get started and go over what Placeit offers for free and what is paid. So there are some free templates and logos and mockups that you can use on Placeit. You never have to pay for those. They're always completely free for you to use and download. Now the rest of the graphic elements and templates that are not free, you can either download for a single time purchase, which is either $7.95 or $2.95 usually. And once you've downloaded it, you have full access to it. But if you're using Placeit regularly and you'd rather have a subscription because it just makes more sense financially, you can also pay monthly or annually to have a full unlimited subscription to Placeit, which gives you full unlimited access to download anything you want in any of the categories. So if you see yourself using this on a regular basis and you're gonna be grabbing a lot of what they have available, I think it makes more sense to do that monthly or annual subscription. So the normal subscription prices would be $89.65 for an annual subscription or $14.95 a month, but I do have a special affiliate link in the description box below and when you use my link, you'll get 15% off of those automatically, which takes it to an annual fee of just over $76 or a monthly fee of just over $12. Of of course, you can always hop on for free before you ever sign up for anything and play around with what's available for free and just see how you like the platform. If you're interested in using these designs and graphics that you come up with on Placeit to resell in your business, it's helpful to know that everything you purchase with a subscription comes with a commercial license as well, so you're able to use your designs in whatever way you want. The only ways you can't use it is to create your own version of Placeit, basically like a resource or a tool or a website just like Placeit and reselling their designs. And of course, using them in any kind of derogatory way is not allowed either. But other than that, you have that commercial license and you can do whatever you want with your designs. Okay, one other thing I wanna mention real quick before we hop over to the computer are the file types that are available for download when you're using Placeit. You'll be able to download your mockups and design templates and logos in PNG format. Videos are in MP4 format. And then any kind of social media graphics will be available in whatever format is required by that specific platform or a PNG format is also available for those. Okay, enough talk. Let's hop over and see what we can do on Placeit. Okay, so here we are on placeit.net. And if you go up here to the top left, you'll see all of these different main headers. So we've got mock-ups with apparel, digital print, print on demand, promotional. Those are all the different types of mock-ups. You've got your design templates for anything from apparel and print. This includes book covers, business cards, flyers, all kinds of things under that section to gaming and music and podcasts, social media graphics for the different platforms. There's a ton under designs. Then if you're interested in creating a logo, you can come here and you can filter it even further by your specific industry or niche. 
And then of course they have a whole section on videos and gaming. So videos would be anything from like social media videos for the different platforms to intros and slideshows to highlights. So there's just a ton that you can do here with these headers, or you can always come to the search bar and type in whatever you want here, filter it by your category and search for it that way. So I'm going to show you a few different types of designs that you can make on place it today. We're just going to hit on the major ones that I think are really interesting and super helpful. So the first thing we're going to look at is a t-shirt design. So let's go to designs, apparel and print t-shirt designs. And once we get here, we can use this drop down menu to look more specifically at what kind of shirt we want. So let's say we like retro design. So let's click retro t-shirts. You can choose by the decade. Let's look at 70 since that's super popular right now. And this will give you a whole lot of 70s t-shirt design templates. So of course you're going to be able to edit the colors and the font and the wording on any of these. So we just select one that we like to start with and then we can make it what we want. So if we have selected this one, um, we can first go in and change the wording. So if I have a specific word or phrase that I wanna put on here, I could just type it in. Um, you can obviously do whatever you want with this. So I'm gonna just type in this one life phrase. And then of course, with the text, you can come over and see the fonts that each of these are, and you can change up the font. If you don't like that specific font, you can see what something else looks like and choose the font that you like. So let's say we like that. Let's go ahead and change all of these to the same one. And next we're going to look at the colors. So let's say we don't want this as our background color. We can change our background color up here on the top right. So let's say we want more of like a goldish color or like a, a yellow. Okay, so let's say we want that as our background and then we wanna change the coloring of each of these. We'll do that in just a minute. But a lot of times you'll base your font colors on your image if you have a graphic image. So we can always replace this. If we want a different image, this automatically pulls up the filter 70 sticker to go with the style of shirt, but you can also erase that and type in whatever you wanna search for. This is for the top graphic. You can also have a bottom graphic, but let's just stick with this top one for now. Um, so we would just choose one over here that we like that fits with the style that we're going for. And there it is, it changes it. We can also resize it to whatever size we want. Okay, so if I'm going with this image, then I might change some of these colors to contrast a little bit more. So let's keep with the same kind of warm color scheme, but let's just change a few of these to what we like. Okay, so let's say we like this, we like our font, we like our colors. Um, so at this point, if we feel happy with our template that we have edited, we can click this blue arrow and this will allow us to download the image in a PNG format. And we can also click over here if we want to resize the image. So this will take us to the image cropper and it gives us options for the different design file sizes. So if we want to crop this, these are the presets that you can choose. We might want to do t-shirt design since that's what we're going for, which would be a little bit more narrow. And then we can size it up to the image size and crop it in as much as we want, can move it around. So let's say we want it right there, then we would click to either upload the new image or download. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is a mock-up. So let's say we've created this, we wanna put it on a t-shirt or a mug or something like that. We can go to mock-ups and look for a mock-up to use that is ready to go. So let's come over to t-shirt mock-ups. And you'll see here the library of all the different mockups you can use. If you're not familiar, a mockup is an image that's ready to go to upload your own design on so that you don't have to actually take the photo yourself. You just purchase or download the mockup and you can upload your specific image to that mockup. So let's say we want to use this one. We can click on it and see what our t-shirt design would look like on this mockup. All right, we would go over here to the left where it says insert image, import from downloads if we want to use the one we just downloaded. All right, we might want to crop this in a little bit. 
Okay, so there's what our design would look like on this mock-up. Now, of course, you probably wouldn't want to use this specific one because it looks a little strange with the white background and then the colored background that we did. But this is just for the sake of this example to show you what you can do. I want to show you a, a different kind of mock-up, which might be like a coffee cup or a mug. So if we come down here to coffee mugs, we can see what they have for mock-ups that are available. All right, so let's select one that we like. Come over to insert image. Let's look at our same image on the mug. Okay, so there's what it would look like on this mock-up. Now, of course, you have the option over here too to add text. So sometimes it's good to have some text. If you wanna tell your buyer something specific about your product, for a coffee mug, you could say something like 11 ounce to show the size. You can change the font that it's in and you can click this to give it a different text color or a text background. So let's look at this. We can choose this little gray and white checkered one if we wanna take it away and make it a transparent background. So let's do that. And then let's make our text color a darker color so we can see it better. And then we can move it up here. Let's make it black. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we can actually see the white the best. So let's do that. All right, so that would be an example of how you could add some text to your mock-up to put some kind of interesting information or something your buyer might need to know. You can always resize it and move it around too. Now, as far as this mug, if you want to change the mug color, if you, let's say you had a gray mug, you can change what the mug color would look like. And then you can add extra graphics here too. So there's a whole lot of different graphic elements you can add to this mock-up. But for the sake of this, I don't think we're gonna do that. We're gonna leave it at our text. The next thing I wanna show you that you can create is a social media design or a social media video. So let's go to Instagram posts. Now some of these are just posts, some are video templates, but we're gonna look through and pick one that we like to start with and then edit it to be exactly what we want. All right, so let's say we like this candle one. Let's pick that. Now, of course, our product is not the same thing as these candles. The first thing we're gonna change is this image of the candles. We're actually gonna put our own image there. So let's click upload image or video. We can choose the image we want of our product. And then of course we can zoom in if we wanna crop it in a bit. So I wanna get this nice and close up to these bracelets, crop. And then we're gonna come over here and change the wording. So of course we don't want this to say candles. We might want it to say something like bracelets. Let's change the font to something we like a little better. Here is where they had kind of a longer description of the product. So we might just put some bullet point important information that our buyers might need to know. So for these bracelets, I could say laser cut, premium veg tan, leather, eight inches in length, aged brass hardware. That just gives my buyers a little peek into the important information. And of course I can change the font again if I want. And then I'm gonna leave this order now here, but you can also change that. Let's make the font match all the way through. Of course, you can change the coloring of the font as well. You wanna make sure that that works with whatever colors you choose over here for your background color, the frame color, and the photo color. So let's let this play for a minute and see how this looks with the colors that are on there. There's our bracelets, there's all of our wording. So it looks pretty nice. Let's see if we can change the colors around a little bit and see you know, if you have um, specific brand colors that you use, you might wanna think about that and make this match your brand. You also wanna think about the colors in your photo so that everything looks really nice together and aesthetically pleasing. I'm just gonna play around with this a little bit and see what these new colors look like. I'm gonna try that out. So now you can see completely different colors. We've got our brand colors in there and it goes with our photo. That looks really nice. Okay, so the last part of this is that it does come with an audio track. I have it muted right now, um, but if you were to go up here, you could click on this little pencil to edit the audio track. You can see what they have available. Go through and play each of the ones and choose a song that you like, or you can look over here under these different tags. If you have a certain kind of like mood that you want for the song or the audio that's gonna go with it, you can choose that as well.
And lastly, I'm going to look at logos here. I want to show you how you can create your own logo if you're interested in that. So when you go up here to this main header logos, you can see these different categories. So let's say we are in lifestyle and fitness and we want to choose something to do with organic products. We would click on that. And this is a really cool way that you can search. So once you click on it, it'll say company name, and then you have this drop down menu. So you can type in your company name. This is just a test name. Let's say it's East Coast Oil Co. You can click apply. And then when you click that, it will apply that name to all of the different templates it's showing down here. So you can see exactly what your name would look like in these templates. You can always use this to change the different types of logos that you're looking at. But what I really like too is now you can actually choose your graphic as well. So let's say that we want, since we're doing essential oils, let's say we want like a drop graphic. Let's see what comes up for drop. So place it gives you all of these different graphics based on what you search and you can choose one to see on the different logos. So let's say we like this one. Now, not only do these templates have your company name on them, but they have the little drop logo and you can see what it would look like. So of course you're gonna look through these, choose one that you like the best and click on it to edit more. So let's just go with this one. All right, so here's the template we're going to edit. We're gonna input the rest of our information. Of course, we don't need farm products there. We're gonna put something that goes with our company. So how about um, essential oils skincare? And then we have this little ribbon down here. We don't need grown in, in the USA. Why don't we say something like all natural? And we can change the fonts again. Um, of course, you can keep it the same if you like it. Let's just keep these the same for now. I'm pretty happy with those fonts and that gray color. Now, if you come over here to the right, you can change the graphic. You can change the little ribbon image. So let's do that first. Let's change this ribbon to a different style of ribbon. So I like that because it's a little more um, simplistic looking. Um, I'm happy with our graphic that we chose, so we don't need to change that. But if you wanted to change it, you could click on one of these other ones and see what it would look like with that. But let's go back to our drop here. And of course you can change the color if you want a different color. All right, down here is for the background. So let's say we like the gray for the text, but we want a different kind of colored background. You can change the background color there and you can look at the different textures available as well for the background. So if we choose a texture, you see how it applied that to the background. Here's one where they make the sides kind of more shadowed and gray. There's a little shadow right here. And this is one where the corners and the edges are a little bit more gray just to give it a little bit of depth. So once you're happy with that, of course, you would click here to download. So those are just a few of the amazing things that you can do on Placeit. Of course, there's so much more that we didn't even get to touch on, but hopefully that gives you a good intro and a good start to understanding if Placeit would be good for your business. So if you are interested in trying out Placeit, like I mentioned before, I have my affiliate link down in the description box below, and that will give you an automatic 15% off when you click on that and try Placeit. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you would give it a big thumbs up. That helps our channel so much. And consider subscribing to the channel and turning on your little notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Don't forget to grab that free gift that I mentioned before, which is that free PDF digital product starter guide. That's so helpful for you if you're considering selling digital products or you just feel super confused about what the different file types are and all the different programs there are to start with. This will definitely help you learn the basics and figure out where you need to go from here. The link to grab that free guide is in the description box below. Now, maybe you're super intrigued, super interested in starting to sell digital products, but you really have no clue even what niche or what category type you would need to do. I do have a whole video about what kinds of digital products and printables sell well on Etsy. So you can click or tap on the square on the screen right now, and that'll take you straight over to watch that video. See you soon, friends.